everybody and welcome we're out here again once again at snappers point in the beautiful Fraser's park if you have not noticed by now i have actually forgotten my hat <laughs> no it's not true i did not forget my hat my hat is actually in the wash so i think that covers it i think that's fine <laughs> i did i did bring sunscreen so that's positive. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Zach Hampson. I like to choose pretty wild, crazy places to go and paint. If you didn't see from the drone shots before, uh, we're actually on the side of a cliff. <laughs> this was one of the spots you would have seen last video, last plein air video, if there's not a video in between that, that uh, I was over the other side, um, more near the very point point of Snapper's Point. <laughs> um, but on the drone footage when I reviewed it I saw that there was a bunch of rocks around the cove just down here over there that looks really cool and I thought that might make a really nice looking painting and so that's that's why we're here today is to go down to these rocks and see if we can make a nice painting out of these rocks and Great news, excellent news in fact. I got the, uh, oh boy. I don't know how I'm gonna get the painting out of here alive. <laughs> Sidetrack, excellent news is that I uh, got the microphone on and uh, brought my spare attachment that is not broken. <laughs> For, so you can hear me without having to hear the wind going off in your ears uh, the entire video. So many of these uh, these birds. They're pretty big. They look like these pretty big seabirds. I don't know if you can see them flying out through here. Can you see all them? And actually, all along this uh, this cliff face here, there's just all these tiny little birds. These tiny little birds all over the place here. Getting a bit of vertigo. Looking all the way down there. It's looking pretty hectic. Looking. It's a beautiful, you see that? This beautiful wave keeps like gushing through here. I'm thinking maybe something like here, here looking. I'm thinking like that would make some sort of a nice painting. But I'm also feeling something like over here. Feeling something over here that's looking like a nice painting. I'm gonna just spend my time, walk around, do a couple of sketch ups and uh, see See what really grabs my eye, see what I could, you know, make a really nice painting out of. Alright. So base camp. <laughs> it's a lot easier to go walk around and find something to paint without all your gear on. <laughs> so base camp, leaving all that shit, and uh, I'm gonna go look for look for something. took my time, did a couple of sketch ups, you can see I've done quite a few here. Um, I really thought I was going to paint this way, looking out onto the cliff uh, and the sheer drop there and the waves crashing in, but I spent a little bit of time with it and I just, I couldn't get something that looked really interesting and so that's one great benefit of having a uh, sketchbook here, 
is that we can just we can just quickly find out if something's interesting or not by doing a little thumbnail uh, relative to the size of your your canvas or your panel that you're doing. You can see I've made little squares because my panel behind me is a square. But um, yeah, I just started drawing this side, the cliff face, and I just couldn't find anything that was really working too well. Nothing was really standing out for a great composition. But looking this way, towards Ghosties Beach, uh, you can see here, I'll turn this around so you can see. But looking this way, out to the beachhead through here, this really looks really interesting to me. And in fact, I did quite a number of sketches of just looking this way. And uh, there's one I feel very like, feel really good about, this one down at the bottom there. I feel like you could make a really nice competition. I love the shapes that this coast makes. And the way the waves come in on this like, sweeping angle, type of angle going into the beachfront. That looks really, really nice. I think that would make for a really nice painting. So I'm gonna paint this section, gonna paint up that side and uh, work it from there. See how it goes. So the SketchUp is down, done. Uh, I feel pretty confident about this sketch, uh, predominantly because I took a lot of time to work out the composition over multiple different drawings and trying to work out what looks good, what doesn't look good. And so the SketchUp, although it takes a little bit of time at the start and you just feel like you gotta get into it, like the sun's clicking away, it really saves you a lot of time later on when things aren't working. So I feel really confident about this because I did all the hard work in the sketchbook working it all out. So it's looking pretty nice. I'm going for this sort of like S shape, sort of S shape in this composition. That's what I'm trying to achieve. Oh my God. Holy shit. Seahawk just flew off my head. Next thing to do is work out the values and uh, start blocking in some things and start refining things and the painting will be essentially done. <laughs> Alright, let's get to it. So, the uh, walk-in's coming along pretty slowly. <laughs> I am kind of taking my time with it a little bit. Um, just trying to just, you know, it, it's one thing to paint, but it's another thing to be on location painting. And, and I feel strongly that when you're on location and, and, and you're painting, you should just, you know, be in it, you know? You should enjoy it. You should just allow yourself to be within 
the environment that you're in and just really uh, just allow yourself to be immersed with it. It's such a beautiful landscape and I'm just, you know, just trying to take my time with it, relax with it and uh, slowly sort of just build it up, you know, just take it all in. It's such a beautiful, beautiful scenery and uh, it looks incredible. quite quite well I'm trying to stand back from it a little bit and uh, just see how things are going from back here so I can just sort of make some snap judgments and uh, try and fix a few things uh, it's always easy to see what's wrong with it when you stand further away from it so that's what I'm trying to do at the moment also just gonna try and take a break for a second to sort of see everything see how everything's going and just kind of disconnect from the piece a little bit I've been feeling really really good lately actually <laughs> feeling really great um, just you know uh, just last night I was just thinking about this how good everything's been going like really really great honestly I feel really really good in here and uh, I don't know if I could ever feel better you know there's still a lot of things I'm trying to do like I'm trying to make more paintings better paintings and etc etc and all those sorts of things um, but I'm, I'm feeling really really great you know honestly I don't think anything could make me feel happier honestly uh, I was just in bed last night with my little girl Aura and uh, my beautiful fiance Avalon and um, we we're just you know all laughing together and just <laughs> Aura was just giggling heaps and you know there's just not much that can top that you know what I mean <laughs> uh, obviously me and Av have a lot of plans for getting some land and putting their little tiny home on there and trying to build a studio on there too and trying to do more things with my art and my paintings stuff like that yeah it's just those things in life that uh, I don't think you necessarily uh, have to do anything to get them or have to pay anything but it's just I feel really happy <laughs> feel really good get into some of the highlights and uh, I feel like that's what's really gonna push bring this painting out is, is putting in some of these highlights really feel like that's what's gonna marry everything together and, and, and bring the composition alive so here we go <laughs>
so I think that's about it for this painting here today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I feel I feel pretty confident with this painting. Uh, I feel like there's a few things I want to tweak. I might do that uh, back in the studio. If I do, um, you'll see that in the finished photo that I'll put up after this. Um, so hang around, stick around to see it finished. <laughs> but overall, I think it's a strong composition. I think it's really nice. Um, I feel like I could have used a bit more darker uh, colors and values. Uh, I think that's something I might do in the studio, try and pop a few areas and bring that refinement in there a little bit more. Um, otherwise, I, I think it all went really, really well. And uh, I really enjoyed my time just staring out at this beautiful scene. You know, you kind of forget yourself. You kind of forget that you're here in this moment on a cliff looking at all this beautiful uh, nature and, and world that we live in and, and you kind of get stuck in your own head thinking oh, I'm gonna wait I'm gonna try and work this painting blah 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 and then you sort of step back and you're like oh look where I am <laughs> you know what I mean it's crazy it, it gets it gets really crazy uh, thinking like that and I and it's just it's so mind-blowing to me just you know having the life that I do and, you know uh, I'm just I'm just so thankful you know, if there's anything to take away from this video is, is, is thankfulness, you know. <laughs> but um, other than that, guys, uh, hit subscribe if you're new here. Hit the bell so you get notified every time I upload. Um, hit like. And most importantly, though, I'd love to read your comments down below. Uh, you can also sign up to my emails listing so you can get 24-hour early access to these videos here on YouTube. So you can check that out on my website. It's in the sign-up section. But uh, overall, I just hope everybody's having a really good day, you know, having a really good time. Um, and if you're not, uh, reach out, talk to me, talk to your friends, whatever, you know. I really believe that painting can, uh, uh, whether or not how we're feeling, I feel like painting is always a positive thing. <laughs> you know, whether it's going bad or good, I feel like it can always bring out positivity in, it, in us. Uh, it's just a really therapeutic thing on top of being a very masterful thing <laughs> Anyways, I won't bore you guys anymore. All right. I'll catch you guys later. All right. I'm gonna pack up. I'll catch you guys. See ya Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye See ya